For years, Musa Abu Marzouk has been one of Hamas's key fundraisers, paymasters, and political strategists. He agreed to talk to us about peace, terrorism, Osama bin Laden, even a deadly new weapon Hamas is said to be developing. Not that Hamas needs more deadly weapons to sow terror. Last month, it was a double suicide bombing in a shopping area of West Jerusalem crowded with young people as the Jewish Sabbath ended. Witnesses said the gutters of Ben Yehuda Street were running with blood. A short time later, a car bomb went off a few blocks away. The next day, another suicide attack on a bus in Haifa. In one weekend, 25 people were killed and more than 200 wounded. And Hamas was more than pleased to claim credit. What do you think you accomplish by setting off the suicide bombs? We want the enemy to withdraw from the occupied territories so that Palestinians can live freely, like other people. Negotiations didn't work, the international community didn't help, so the only way we had was to let the occupying force pay the price of the occupation. Another reason for Hamas's current popularity is its refusal to negotiate with Israel and its ability to inflict suffering on Israelis. And Marzouk made it clear that Hamas has plans to improve its military capabilities. It's been reported that Hamas is working on a missile, developing a missile. Okay. Developing a missile. What's the problem? With a range of about six miles. Okay. True? What is the problem? Is that true? Yes, true. But where is the problem? How would you use it? Why you didn't ask Israel? How can they use uh, all of their uh, weapons right now. How would you use it? We want to resist the occupation with these missiles. Israelis are entering houses with tanks to destroy and to kill people. 73 houses were destroyed and people couldn't resist. Are weapons only allowed for Israel and not the Palestinians? To see how missiles in the hands of Hamas would transform the battlefield here, all you have to do is go to the nearest hilltop. This is the West Bank. Just six miles off in the distance lies Jerusalem. That would put Hamas's new missiles within striking distance of heavily populated Israeli neighborhoods. The Israelis routinely fire rockets into heavily populated Palestinian neighborhoods like this one in Ramallah in response to sniper attacks. Before long, Hamas may be able to return that fire, escalating the battle. Is there anything that would satisfy Hamas besides the complete capitulation of, of Israel and complete withdrawal from the Middle East? We have talked about it a lot, and we said that we would not be against a Palestinian state in the West Bank and Gaza with Jerusalem. All of Jerusalem. We are talking about coming back to the frontiers of 1967. And that would satisfy you? That will be good, uh, at least uh, in this stage. And this would bring peace? Maybe.